Hello friends, this is Sai from another MySQL school. Quite often, we come across this question from the participants, like what's the difference between Azure Data Engineer and Snowflake Engineer? Simple, straightforward difference. You decide which one to go for. We recommend both. Let me justify my answer. Let's get to very basic level technical details like what's the main difference between these two cloud environments. Yes, both are into cloud. Both are into warehousing activities. But which one to go for? Let's come straight to our actual concept. You have, assume you have a Snowflake cloud account. Purpose of Snowflake to store data in cloud. We store data in the form of databases. These databases are controlled by a virtual, virtual compute, cloud computing components called warehouses. I mean to say warehouse is virtual, cloud computing components, whereas database is physical at the storage level in Snowflake. Now the question where it is stored because Snowflake do not have its own dedicated storage. Snowflake depends on either Azure or AWS or Google Cloud. Yes, you hit it right. If you happen to go to snowflake.com website and you try to register to the Snowflake site, try to register yourself on the Snowflake site, it will ask you for some details. You supply all the details. And then once you supply details, it will ask you like whether you would like to have the cloud provider as Azure or AWS or Google Cloud. One of these three. Reason, Snowflake does not have its own storage. It depends on one of these three storage. Now, who is going to manage the storage? Undoubtedly, Azure Data Engineers. It is Azure Data Engineers who would be managing the storage from Snowflake and lot of other cloud providers, lot of other applications. At the end of the day, main storage administration activities. ETL administration activities, optimization, security at storage level, Azure data engineers need to take care. So Snowflake depends on Azure. Snowflake depends on Azure. Or Snowflake may also depend on AWS or Google Cloud. One of these three cloud providers, one of these three have to be chosen to create a Snowflake account. Why? Because of the fact Snowflake does not have its own storage. So in case the question arises, which one to go for? Hope you got the answer, the dependency. Snowflake is doing very good in the market. No doubt. It's cheaper. Cheaper warehousing, virtual warehousing. But what is missing inside it? ETL. The flexible ETL. The main flavor of extract, transform, load, data orchestrations, data mapping activities, data cleansing, data classifications, data quality activities are missing in Snowflake. Again, we require something like data engineering to perform those activities like data factory and data bricks. So, yes, here is the actual plan. Let me be clear. Let, let me be clear. Here is our actual plan you see on the screen. Let me just uh, make it in a simplified, straightforward way here. Yes, on the screen. Step into SQL Server TSQL queries. Then get into Azure Data Engineering. Okay, and then once it is done, step into Power BI and or snowflake maybe in parallel or in sequence this way we can have number one multi-cloud environment 
Number one, multi cloud. Number two, back end and front end. Back end data engineer and snowflake, front end power BI. Number three, big data analytics. Number four, multiple certifications. And you will not be doing all these courses at once. No, no, not at all. You would go for one at a time. You step into Azure Data Engineering first. Highly recommended. Once you complete, then step into Power BI and then Snowflake or Snowflake and then Power BI. Maybe two or three months down the line after Data Engineering or maybe a six months plan, a six months to eight months learning plan so that we can get the complete data engineer career path the complete full stack activities into our resume proper understanding of our technical subject proper workflow activities easy to analyze easy to administer easy to monitor manage and easy, easy to understand any customer requirement at our sql school we assure you complete practice orientation. We'll be very, very cautious on the actual course right from the registrations. Trust us, we are very, very cautious right from registrations. We are very, very cautious with respect to the course delivery, everyday assignments, everyday assignments, and you will submit them before the next day. right from the first introduction class we assure you complete practice orientation no ppt nothing straight into the practice right from the scratch we want your colleagues to join our course you get trained be happy get the complete subject complete your project work at the end or let us know we'll provide the complete project work solution explanation with faqs then Yes, your colleagues would join our course next. We need to go to that level. Need your support. Interested participants, please contact our team or if you go to our website, you see the registration form. Simply go to our website, sqlschool.com and there you have the schedules, right? For data engineering, Snowflake, SQL. SQL server basics are enough to step into data engineering and or snowflake or both better to go for one course at a time our recommendation you may choose to attend one introduction class then you decide one or two introduction class then you decide thank you so much have a nice time thank you